Hey, what's up guys? Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about the tires, the Maxxis tires. I've had a couple of folks um, ask me if I would do a review on the tires. And I was uh, kind of hesitant because tires are, it seems like there's such a variety of tires that everybody's got their own opinion on what they like. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my opinion of these tires, what I like about them, how they've held up, and um, yeah. All right, let's 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 get with it. Okay, I put these tires on in 2019. <clears throat> I'll talk about, I put, these are Maxxis Bighorn 2.0s. Uh, these right here are 26 11 by 12. On the front is 26 9 by 12s. I put them on in uh, 2019. There's the date code, 2251 of, or 2518, so that's when it was manufactured. But I put them on the spring of 2019, so I rode with them almost all the year of 2019, 2020, 21, and 22. So that's basically four years on these tires. Same as the wipe here, I put hers on the winter of... I think it was March of 2019 I put her tires on. Now she has a 2.0 on the rear and a 3.0 on the front. I'll kind of explain why I went with that tire here pretty quick. Um, but that I put hers on first. So the reason I went with these tires, I wanted a radial, a radial tire, and I wanted a lightweight tire. Now another guy was talking about these tires here are actually a radial and they're probably even lighter and they come factory on this machine but these tires here have worn out really quick I probably wouldn't buy these tires because you're just kind of riding on these knobs here and they've worn down pretty quick but I believe they are a lightweight tire but Can-Am put some factory on these on the Renegade you know because they're so lightweight they're gonna give you good performance anyway these are pretty light. They've been on there. I don't know how many miles I got on them. Four years. I don't know the miles, though. But uh, we'll look at the tread here. See how they've worn down. Now, mine have worn down a little more than the wife's. Because, I, you know, I ride more aggressive. I spin my rear tires from time to time. I, you know, goof around more. So it's worn these down. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you hers. You can see that that deals a little deeper you see that kind of a um, wear bar it's a little deeper on hers now your fronts obviously they're not worn down as much but you look on here a little little shallower but they've held up well one thing about these tires they are listed as a six ply tire I don't see anywhere on them that they say six ply but when you look these tires up online they call them a six ply now what I like about the tires is they have good ride quality. They are, they got a pretty soft sidewall. Now a lot of folks probably don't like that because of not being as puncture resistant as some other tires. I was worried more about the ride than I was puncture resistant. Um, and they are listed as a six ply. So I felt fine putting these on because I wanted the, the best ride I could get out of a tire. And another thing I like about them is, well, these got four and a half. I run four and a half in the rears. I think I run five in the fronts, but I do like the profile. They have a pretty flat profile, pretty flat across here. They're not a, a roundish tire like on the uh, Can-Am over there. Those, uh, I ain't sure what they're called, ITPs, but they have, yeah, they're real rounded. Most of your factory or your tires that come on your machine stock are rounded. Now, I know Polaris on their Sportsman is got a knockoff of this they're putting on, and they seem to hold up really well, but I don't know the brand of it. That's one thing about tires for quads or side-by-sides. My God, there is such a plethora of tires to choose from. 
so many manufacturers, so many different models. It, it can be super confusing. Um, but I went with these and I've been pretty happy with them. I'll get a, I'll get a depth gauge and we'll, we'll check the tread on them and show you how deep it is now after four years. And I don't remember the factory depth. I, I'm, you can look it up. I'm sure you just look it up online. It'll tell you how, how deep the, the tread is when they're new. I, I think it's maybe three quarters of an inch. But let, let me get a depth gauge and I'll show you where they're at now. Uh, little dial indicator here. We'll just check them. That's all I have for as far as a depth gauge. Uh, uh, so I can't. That looks pretty good. So, what does that say? Can you see it? Oh, right at a half inch, five hundred thousandths. Yeah. So it's they're a half inch. That's a half inch deep tread right now after four years. So there you go. And we'll check the wife's, see what they say. See, it's probably going to be a little taller. Um, well, 575 there. Yeah, so they got about, what, 65? They got about 65 thousandths. Just what a sixteenth of an inch more tread. Mine wanted a half. These were up there like that. So they do have a little more tread, but you could tell because of that. You know, no big deal. So that's what you got after four years. Now these machines are not that heavy. If you had a heavy machine like a side by side, I think they'd wear down a lot quicker. These machines only weigh, I think, the book on them is uh, or the spec six six seventy five, I believe. So under 700 pounds. These are not heavy machines. Um, so that's where they're at there. One thing I like about these tires, and I'll show you why I wanted a radial. Let me get it set up. Uh, like that, see so if you can see. When you hit a bump, See, I like that. See how that sidewall flexes out? That's a big deal to me. That, that is your ride. Same with the front here. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if you can see that pretty good. And then this tire. See, the sidewalls are pretty flexible. You get a better ride. So that's what I like. That takes up your shock of your bumps. And you can see it has a little pooch in it right there at the bottom. Uh, so that's one thing I like about the tires. So now we'll talk about this 3.0. This tire... I put this on first before I bought mine. And I hate this tire. I do like the tread pattern of this tire better. As far as a front tire because it's directional. It hasn't worn as much and I'll show you why. I think it did originally have deeper tread. But what I don't like about this tire, this tire has a lot more heavy duty carcass. So that means this tire does not have as soft a sidewall. It's not that bad, but if you go like this on this tire, you have to push down a lot harder to get that tire to flex in. This tire is a lot more durable. That tire has a lot more flexible si sidewall. So I did not, after I put these on the wife's, and I noticed this. Now, when you look this tire up, it does weigh uh, maybe two pounds more than the, than the uh, 2.0s, the 3.0s. So I knew it was going to have more of a heavy-duty carcass. And it does make a difference. Now, it seems to me Maxis designed this tire for a side-by-side. -side. The 2.0s are more designed for anything, maybe. But like I say, I think they would wear out quicker on a side-by-side because -side they're heavier. 
Um, but I don't see any side by sides running 26 inch tires. They're all running 29s, 30s, 31s. So I've never seen a side by side guy run these tires. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else run these 3.0s. So they, they, they're they not selling a lot of them. Um, and here I'll show you another thing about the tire hardness of these tires. Okay. We have a uh, hardness tester, rubber hardness tester. It tests how hard the rubber is. Um, and I'll show you the 2.0s. The gauge is kind of messed up, but it does. So you can see that. That's about 60, 62. About 62 on the hardness scale. Okay. Are you seeing that? And these are the 2.0s. Now we'll look at this 3.0. 70. Up oh, 72. This tire is almost 10 points harder rubber compound than the 2.0s. In fact, this tire there, the 3.0, you look at a, uh, a street tire here. Tire's on my truck. S 70, 72. Basically the same. So the 3.0s are as hard as a street tire. So they are going to be much more durable. They're going to last longer. But they don't ride as good as the, the 2.0s. And the 2.0s are a softer compound. So therefore, they are going to wear out quicker. But they've been on there this many years. Um, I'm, I'm happy with them. They're expensive as hell. That, that's getting irritating. You know how everything is. Everything's going up crazy quick anymore. Um, they've gone up since I bought them in 2019. So what else to say about them? Uh, shit, I don't know. So, okay. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. This tire review. I know some guys were asking about it. We get a ride trip coming up here pretty quick. So, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.